have we have both cattle and sheep. We find they complement each other very well because the sheep uh, like the finer, shorter grass better, and also the sagebrush, and the cows like the coarser grass, taller grass. So, of course, you can't run as many of either one as you could if you only had one or the other. But together, they, they do complement each other, and while we sometimes run them in the same pasture at the same time, we don't very often. We think we do have a, a little more conservation of the grasses because they're better utilized. And then we have fenced and made smaller pastures so we can uh, graze heavier and then move off after just a few days. Then we'll maybe come back in two or three months and do a short period again of time there. Or maybe we will have the cows on first and then after a few months we'll put the sheep through. And we don't have that all over, but we do have it in some of our pastures. This is kind of a newer thing for us. We've done that about three years. So we're just finding out how well it worked. Um, Sun Palm thought that really we fared, have fared better with the drought situation by being able to do that. We keep a lot of records on our livestock. Just um, on the cows, we have clear back. Well, we, I started keeping paper records on them and we used ear tags probably early 70s. And we weigh our calves and, and we did get a, a scales so we can weigh our livestock, which has been very invaluable. And we also ear tag and tattoo our sheep and, and the computer's a great help for that. They're doing some, do, doing some crossbreeding to, because we also have a feedlot and we feed out our own lambs to try to make a little more muscle on them and, and just make them more marketable. We all work out in the barn quite a bit because we do shed lambing, which is not something that everybody does. But we figure we gain probably, oh, at least 30 to 40% on our lamb crop by doing it. We all like our sheep, so it's not a, so much of a hardship to do that. Thank you.